Hey musical architects, do you ever run into problems with latency? This nasty little delay that occurs or might occur when you record audio or when you hit the keyboard and the notes just don't trigger on time. In this short video, I'm going to talk about buffer size, latency and the low latency monitoring modes that can help you avoid these problems. Simple, but very effective because it's annoying when you can't play on time. Check it out. Welcome back, Musical Architects. Let's talk about latency. Latency is a certain delay that happens through the required time it takes to process something in your computer. And it could be in the conversion from the analog world into digital, or it could also be when you trigger your MIDI keyboard and you feel like there's a bit of a delay going on. It's really hard to play with that latency, and it's kind of annoying in the middle of a process. Especially true when you change your buffer size. So what is buffer size? If you go command comma or open your preferences audio, you see that the IO buffer size can be changed. Now, when you have a fresh new project, it's very handy to be at a lower point. 128 or 64, if your computer can handle it, means that there's only a few milliseconds of latency. That means the time it takes to go in from the analog world through the sound card, become digital and then go back out. But as your project grows, you might start running into problems with a low buffer size because it cannot handle all the plugins in real time. So the trick is to increase the buffer size. So we increased the buffer size to 1024. Great. The computer can handle all the processing for all the plugins and tracks, but now we want to record another idea. And that's a problem because we have huge latency now. Every time we hit the keyboard, there's major delays going on. So what can we do? There's one workaround that's really convenient, and it's called Low Latency Monitoring Mode. You can find it from the Record menu, but I recommend to adding a button. Simply control click or right click on the control bar. And then a menu opens where you can add this function called Low Latency Monitoring Mode. It looks a bit like a clock. So anytime you want to play or record, without having to encounter big latency, simply turn on that low latency mode and it will turn off certain effects, certain buses. You can see them blacked out in orange here in the mixer, which pretty much gets rid of all the latency. Once you recorded your idea, turn it off and you have all the buses and plugins play as usual. That's really convenient. And this is how you can get around changing the buffer size in the middle of a project. Have a big buffer size, for playback, have a smaller buffer size for just recording without much latency. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps. Have a great day. Stay creative. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this made sense and gives you the tools and skills to edit things very quickly in the future without spending much time and messing up your song. If you want to dig deeper, feel free to check out my Udemy course where I start from the very beginning of writing a song to the end of the production and take you step by step through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day. No matter what, stay unapologetically creative.